out of YouTube. Uh, beginning of the season here, it's the beginning of March. So I'm doing videos on how to get your lawn equipment ready. So on this one, it's going to be your garden tractor. Lawn tractor, rather. Uh, yeah, this is a Cub Cadet XT1. It's the the 42 inch deck I want to say I think this is the third year yeah third year for this thing so far love it it's doing good uh, I want to get a snow plow for it eventually I should have got it this year because it was hell but oh well uh, this thing's one heck of a mower I like it but uh, we're going to do a basic, get your lawn tractor ready for the season. First things first, I, one issue I do have right there, 12.2 volts, battery's a little low. I'm gonna hook a battery charger up to that first and foremost and while we're doing everything else I can charge up and hopefully it's a small battery shouldn't take too long I'll crank it up a little bit it should be fine but we'll do that first okay that's charging go under the hood next filter I'm not changing it but uh, you should and you just take a pair of pliers crimp those two hose connectors I mean hose clamps pull them back and just replace it with a filter they're cheap but I'm too cheap for cheap so it runs fine uh, we're gonna change the oil I have a video on how to do that it's pretty cool uh, I get interrupted by a high-speed chase through my neighborhood. It's kind of dope. Uh, so, if you guys can go check that one out. I'm not sure exactly what that one's for. You want to check your lines for rubbing and whatnot. My lines are fine. Uh, so, oil, oil drain plug is right there. Filters there, fills there. Air filter. Turn your two screws. Pop your air filter off. Cover off. This is a Kohler 5400 series. It's an 18 horse. Yeah. Pop that off of there. Hey, you can grab the filter. Pull that off. So, this is a. I'm not sure how I like that. But, uh, anyway, this is a. Helper, please. Thank you. This is a paper element with a foam pre filter. So, just pull the pre filter off. Here's your paper element. It's actually pretty clean. You could blow this out if you wanted to. I'm actually not. It's it's that clean. Uh, so I'll just reuse this filter. The pre-filter, however, I'll have to check the manual. It doesn't feel like it gets oiled. I don't think pre-filters do, but like on the push mower, that's a foam filter for the whole thing. That gets oiled. If you're, what the oil does is it catches the dirt. If you're familiar with old vehicles and tractors, an oil bath air filter, all that was is a tub of, uh, it was like a, a, a cylinder inside of a cylinder with a pan of oil on the bottom. The air would get sucked in through the oil back into the engine and the oil would suck all the particles out of it. 
works very well but they got rid of those because dealers and manufacturers couldn't charge for an air filter so you know it's all about the money uh this delicately blow out with an air compressor if you want to no chemicals just soap and water and that's it so we'll do that and let it dry we'll put the filter back on just for protection purposes right now uh we'll clean this up just run it in hot soap and water and you'll be good to go but uh yeah Next, uh, I don't know what we'll do. We'll probably do oil change after that. So, uh, all right, we'll move on. All right, changing the oil. We got a video on this, as I said. Uh, usually, you got a plug somewhere or a drain spigot slash drain caulk, as they call it, and then a filter of some sort. Uh, there's a really cool system on the John Deere's my buddy has and I'm gonna try to get a video on that one day But uh, yeah, so go and check out my video on this particular engine if you want to see that But uh, otherwise we're just gonna change the oil very simple Open the plug Turn it Now I'm going to have to put you down, but you just pull out on that little yellow thing and it starts draining. Sorry for the shaky video there, but there we go. You pull out on it. Drains into the air. Whatever you're using as a catch pan. Yeah, that's simple. While you're in here, uh, with the steering gear, I like to spray it with some fluid film or something. White lithium grease. I prefer fluid film over that, but because uh, it doesn't wash away as easily. I don't know what the manual says about it. I like to do it. This helps cut down on wear. But uh, yeah, and this other line, I was confused at for a second what it was. It's a, a vent line for the tank, so the fumes go into the carburetor. So, even this little thing kind of has an EVAP system. Thank you to the EPA. Whatever. But I'll get a filter wrench and we'll take that filter off. I have a, it's a STP filter. If you can tell. I got a... I was at Walmart and grabbed a filter. They don't have STPs. I got a Fram. I'm sorry. I'm right there with you. I don't really like using them either, but actually, I gotta find it. I don't know where I put it. But anyway, it's a small engine. It's not going to be a big deal. But I believe you can go. On, well, I know you can go on my channel and find a video for that one too. Filter alternatives for these things. That is the Kohler 5400 series. So if your tractor has one of those, go check that out. Save you some money. Okay, she's still draining. We're going to take a filter wrench and I hope this is the right one. I don't remember. And, uh, once this is all done, what I like to do is go spray this all off. But, uh, yeah. You could take an air gun to it or a leaf blower, but whatever. So I guess after I spray it off would be the time to grease that. So my bad, I take that back. I don't think too much oil comes out of this. Alright. 
nothing to be worried about later. I got me a frame filter. I'm sorry, people. I'm not looking forward to using it either, but I didn't want to run to a thousand different places. filter get your oil and you want to pre-fill the filter let her drink it up Reach up in there, make sure that the rubber gasket came off with the filter. Just two rubber gaskets equals a pressure leak and it will leak everywhere. Now, if you're using an extended filter, no matter what you're doing, you know, you go by the book about how much oil you want to put in it, but also check your oil, and you want to check it regularly anyway. There's still oil coming out of that spigot. But, uh, the oil slowly seeps down in there. Finger, nice new oil. Oopsie. Use yourself as a rag. Make sure your wife or and or girlfriend and or what the hell is wrong with me? Your wife or girlfriend. Don't be that douchebag, guys. Don't. Uh. Well, really for that, using yourself as an oil rag. But regardless, make sure to drag that uh, nice, dirty, frayed label right through your new filter. And thread her on. Be sure not to cross thread it. That should be good enough. That's all you need. And this is just going everywhere with the wind. So I'm calling it. your dip stick full low get somewhere in between there preferably close to the full line that's how you do that again I have a video on how to change your tractor's oil so not going in depth Just put oil on it till it's full Okay, I filled her up with oil, jacked it. It's hard to see, but she's full. Uh, battery's still charging. So can't do nothing really with that. Uh, now that I spilled oil everywhere, I want to hose that off before I do the deck. 
and the old uh, pre-filter is drying. So I'm kind of at a standstill on this one for a while too. So we'll go check all my other projects, shall we? Okay, like I said in my other one, I don't know how long it's been since I've worked on these, but we're back on them. So I believe where we left off with this was air cleaner. I got the pre-filter cleaned and it's dried for who knows how long now, a couple weeks probably. Uh, let's slap that back on first off. Find the bird shit. Lock your cover. Pull your cover off. Grab your filter. There we go. Pre filter. All your pre filter does is go over the top of your cartridge filter. And then try to do this one handed. But, uh. Really should get my tripod out. That's what I should do. I got it. Boom. Pre-filter back on. This is a pre-filter. It's a foam filter, but it's a pre-filter, so this does not get oiled. As far as I've always been told. So, just a foam filter gets oiled, like on a push mower. So, Get a part with this. There we go. We got it on there. Still got to hose this off and we're done. But uh, I believe all we got to do is grease it. We'll wash it off, grease it, and do the deck. So we'll remove the deck right now. Alrighty, so we got the mower deck removed on this thing. It's different on every tractor. I uh, shot a video on how to remove it on my Cub Cadet here. It's an XT1 with a 42 inch deck. But I'll go over a little breakdown for you. There's four pins you got to remove. You got to move one on each side here. So one here, one over there, just like this one. One up front, same style clip. And it's on a rod. Pop that out, push the rod out push these arms off the pins here bring your mower deck a height adjuster all the way up it'll clear that out of the way and the last pin is on the cable holding the cable into the deck so remove that pin push on the adjuster pull your cable out of the deck and slide it out through the slot and you can push the adjuster all the way forward get your spring out then on the tractor itself, there's a bar you have to move so you can pop the belt off the front pulley and it pops right out, no problemo. So, 
put a maintenance on this. What I'm going to do is stand her up first off. She's clean, actually. So personally, all I do is sharpen the blades, pop them off, sharpen the blades, slap them back on, and be done. But I want to try to keep my decks from rusting, so I'm going to grind it and paint it. That's another video. But uh, got to figure out what socket I need and pop those nuts off, pop the blades off. And we'll be good to go. Just sharpen them up real quick. Alright, so if you're doing this by hand, get a block of wood. And these are dull, dull, dull. Uh, block it somehow. Be careful that you don't. Usually for this one, I'd go put a block of wood here and crack her loose and for this one block of wood there crack her loose but uh anyway we have the technology so put a pair of gloves on or just grab it with your hands like a man impact 15 sixteenths There's two. We'll grind these. That one's not as bad. We'll grind these up, clean them up. Grind that, paint it. Slap back together, boy. Alright, another time back on the tractor. Sorry it's scattered all over the days, but we're getting to it. Uh, I believe there's three things left. Because uh, I'm not changing the fuel filter. I've already talked about that. Spark plug. I'm not changing that either. You can. I'm in a hurry. So I'm just leaving it. Now grease the front tires. With all the wheel bearings. Slap the blades on. Slap it under the deck back under. And we're good to go. So let's get to that. There's the deck. I sharpened the blades real quick. Remember. The way the curve part goes towards the top of the deck. Move that blade out of the way. Line it up. Same thing on this one. I apologize for the wind. Get your nuts. Red those on. Red that on. And same deal. Get a block of wood or something. Tighten those down. I'm gonna go grab my impact and then we'll just inch them down and I'll come back with you when we shove her underneath the tractor. Alright, okay, so we're gonna shove the deck back under the tractor there. Uh, do it however you do yours, and I'm gonna make a video, I think. If it turns out well on how to do it on this tractor. So look out for that. Alright, so the last thing we're going to do is grease the bearings on the front tires, which are a grease zerk right there. And here goes the hood. As you can see, grease zerk right where my fingers are. I'm just going to give them three pumps with my Milwaukee grease gun. Yep, it's on four. We'll give her four. So, if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend getting it. Milwaukee them lube. On the grease zerk pull said trigger there 
one. I'll get the paper towel. There's one. I'll get a paper towel to wipe up the stuff I dripped on the ground. And here's two. I'll clean up my mess. But she's good to go. That's how you get your tractor ready for the grass cutting season. Pretty simple. It's even easier if you do it all in one day, not in four like me. But I'm a busy man with a busy schedule, so shit gets done when it gets done. But uh, yeah, so hope that helps you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more. Uh, you can follow me, social media, Facebook, Instagram, both K30Crazy. And until next time, as I always say, stay crazy. Have a good one, people.